What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Winthorpe. Lapels and Barbells is the name of the channel. Yes, I did change the name. Uh, reason being, I mean, nothing major. I, I'm doing so many different things and so many different, like, categories of interest that it's like when I try to put it in just one uh, social media account, one YouTube channel, it was just looking just a little too messy at times because when you do that, like, for one, I was doing the visuals and then the podcast, and then, of course, working out, trying to put all of those different things into one. And definitely some accounts do it, and they do it very well. I was just having a tough time giving enough attention to each one because you know people who follow what I'm doing, they come to me for different reasons. A lot of people, they just know me for you know photography, videography. People just know me for the workouts. You know People have found me because of the, the podcast. But these are all parts of me and what I like and what I do. And I'm like, man, what I need to find a way to just display it, but I want everything to get enough attention, you know, so to speak. So I'm like, you know what, when it comes to fitness, because that's a big part, a lot of people came up with me just on this fitness, on just working out. And they even they asked me, like, man, you don't really post the, the, the workout videos and things like that. So I'm like, you know what, let me just make another channel that's completely focused on just working out, health, fitness, jujitsu. And you know, when you see lapels and barbells, that's what it's gonna be about. So that's all that it is. So lapels and barbells, I mean, it's pretty much just a play on the type of fitness and type of workouts that I do. Lapels referring to jujitsu, barbells, we already know. So, and I already bought the, the domain name, so don't try to, to steal it. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make a video for you guys. Man, it's been a, a crazy, crazy, crazy week. Uh, had some life-changing events happen. I won't even get into it right now. That's why I've just been pretty much just away from really just social media. I haven't put anything out, but I'm like, I need my therapy. And one of the th um, the ther therapeutic things that I do is work out. You know, I was like, man, I don't want to do anything. And I realized not working out, it made me feel worse. So I was able to get back into jujitsu this week because I was like gone from everything. But I got back into, into jiu-jitsu this week, which felt amazing. And then I'm about to go hit the gym right now. So, but I was like, you know what? I gotta do a video. I gotta reach out. That's another, you know, this is my therapy as well. Just being able to talk to you guys and hopefully reach somebody out there who might be watching. But man, whew, it's been rough. But listen, what I was able to gain over the last week is, you know, I tell you guys to make your goal. You know, you have your goal set. You know, and I want you guys to always make the goal huge. It should be, it should be big. You know, when people say, hey, I think you're crazy for thinking you want to do this or you can do this, that lets you know you're on the right track. Any goal I have set, especially when it came to jujitsu with the tournaments I wanted to do, uh, the weight classes, the amount of weight I wanted to drop, just changing my body completely. You know, for going from just being as huge as possible to now just cutting weight and just becoming, you know, a leaner athletic individual everybody people were very supportive don't get me wrong i won't act like okay the whole world was against me but there was definitely a lot of people who were just like you're crazy you can't do it you want to do what you want to do jiu what, 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 what? and i'm like all right sure and i did all of it so number one when someone says you can't when someone has doubt use that to fuel you don't ever take it and say man they might be right that's the last thing you ever want to think all right, number one, because if I would have listened to everyone who said, you're too big to do jiu jitsu, you're not flexible enough, you can't medal at the pants, you can't win Asian Open, you can't drop 40 pounds. If I would have listened to all of that, I don't even know if I would be making this video right now. Like, everything that I had a lot of people who doubted that I could do it, I did it. You know, now mind you, was it easy? Absolutely not. But, when it when I did it and I accomplished it, it made it just that much sweeter. Oh, it made it feel so much good. It made it feel so much better. And that's the beauty of it. Yes, it's gonna suck. Of course it's gonna be hard. But man, when you reach it or when you start to see the progress, it gives you that battery. It gives it it just recharges that that body battery. And it's like, okay, I can keep going. But um when we do set those goals, right? The goal is huge. So we already have the game plan. Like I always tell you, we're not just gonna just wing it. Like we, we know what we want, but now what I never really uh, focused and really uh, put emphasis on was, 
all right, we have to make sure we maximize each day. Like we have this, uh, you know, this huge goal, but a lot of times, and I've been guilty of it, I wouldn't maximize the day. I'm looking to the next day or next week. Okay, I'm working on it now, but we need to go to step five. I'm like, okay, hold on. We still got to work on step one. Okay, I'm, you know, we're on step one, but you're already thinking about next week or two weeks from now when the fun part happens in step seven, when we get to make the cool logo or whatever, when we get to, you know, start, when we get filled, whatever, I don't know, I don't have an example for it, but we have to maximize each day. That's the point I'm trying to make, okay? That's where all of this video is about, it's maximizing each day because getting to step seven next week or two weeks from now, we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what curveball life is gonna throw at us. We don't know what may happen. We have to be prepared for it, but we also have to know we're putting all the energy, all the energy of what we can do right now. So what does that mean? If you are at the gym, if you are at jujitsu practice, if you're getting ready for something, if you're getting ready to make, uh, you're working on your business, you're working on anything, and you have the goal for today, focus on the day. Okay? Make sure you are maximizing the, the day. Make sure you're maximizing the time. You know, if you only have four hours to get something done within a 24-hour day because you have to go back to work, you have to go back, you know, to pick up the kids, whatever the case may be, you know, you, your day is broken up into these different uh, pockets and it's like, okay, I only have three hours to work on this. Well, then you need to maximize and utilize those three hours to the fullest. You can't just say, okay, I'm gonna just work for two hours because I know tomorrow I can pick up the slack. It doesn't work like that. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna to be. I don't even know if tomorrow's gonna to be here. I have no idea. So I know what I could, we're here right now and I know I can control, well, even I'll say, I mean, that's a whole different conversation, the word control. I'm not in control, but what I can do is just maximize and be as productive and kill it as much as I can within the time that I have, within the present. And once I maximize the day and once I, I kill the day, then we can go to the next day and say, okay, what's the plan of attack? How are we gonna work on it? What are we gonna do? Then the next day, the next day, the next day. I can't say, okay, oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. Maybe I can just pick up. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Maximize your day every day. Okay, if you're training, you're in the gym, and you have two hours, listen. People think I'm like the worst person in the world in the gym. They think I'm a jerk when I go work out because you know, they said I have this mean face and this and that. And it's like, nope, I'm actually one of the nicest guys I think on the planet. But the, the thing is, when I'm in the zone, when I'm in the moment, and I know I have no time to waste, and I'm not thinking about tomorrow necessarily, I'm putting all my energy into it right now. I'm not thinking about trying to spark up a conversation. I barely even wear headphones in the gym. I'm so in the moment, I'm so in my head that nothing, I don't care. I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna hang out, I don't wanna shoot the breeze with you, I wanna work. I wanna work and I wanna outwork everyone who's in my way of beginning to the goal. And I take that within that day and I put it to the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And before you know it, it's been a few. Now we are at step five. But I wasn't trying to skip the skip steps. I wasn't trying to jump the gun and say, okay, it's a Monday, but I'm already looking at Thursday. What can we get done on Thursday? No, no, no. We have a plan. We have a plan of action. But now when we start executing the plan, we have to execute it within the moment. We have to maximize the moment. We have to maximize the day. You know, and it's finding the balance within that. You know, so like I said, we have the plan, we know what we want, we know what we're trying to, to get to. When I'm getting ready for pans, what's the goal? I want to win. Yeah, I want the gold medal. Okay. We know the date. We know what time we have to be on the mat. But now, each day, we have our plan of action. And yeah, you can plan a week out. I mean, I have to plan my weeks out, of course. I'm not just saying, we don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, so let's just focus. No, 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 no. We can, we're planning our strategy, but now when we start to execute, we're, I'm executing in the moment. I'm here. I'm in the moment with you guys. And we get to tomorrow, God willing, boom, we execute the next day and the next day. And that starts to build up, build up, build up, build up, build up until we get to our goal or we get to that big milestone. 
I know you've probably heard the analogy before. I mean, it's kind of cheesy with the head with the car headlights when we're driving. We can't see the whole road, but we can see X amount of feet depending on what type of headlights you have, right? And that's all we need. We don't necessarily need to see the whole road because we know where we're trying to go. And now the headlights are just giving us that visibility X amount of feet out. And that's all we need. We're going up a flight of steps. We know we want to get to the top of the steps to the second floor or whatever floor. We're working on just step by step by step by step until we get to the top. I know it sounds che cheesiest analogies, right? Yeah, but it makes so much sense. It's just ringing true. And it's ringing true for me now, just so over this last couple of days with what's been going on. It's ringing so true. It's so powerful right now. It's so, I'm such a believer in it. Like, no, I've, I've been guilty of it. It's like, yeah, I'm working hard, but then I'm thinking about, okay, I can, I can pick it up a little bit more tomorrow. Eh, I can pull back a little bit. We got tomorrow. We got the next, no, 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 no. I don't know if I have the next day. I don't know. I hope so. But in the meantime, I'm right here. I'm in the moment now. We have today. How can I maximize today? And I plan it, then we have a plan of attack for tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm working on today. And I'm gonna be the hardest worker today. I'm outworking everybody today. And when the day is over, we put in our work, okay? It's on the agenda tomorrow. And I put the same energy into tomorrow. And we keep going, we keep going until we get to the next step, next level. So just wanna share that with you guys. I'm about to go and kill it, I'm about to have some coffee, drink, finish up my water first. And then I'm on my way to the gym. Hopefully you guys like this video. Share it, like it. More videos are on the way. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell, Instagram, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.